services working overtime due to hospital shortages in the Ocean State and nationwide, many hospitals have turned to traveling nurses for help. 12 News reporter Courtney Carter caught up with a traveling nurse who says she feels it's her mission to help Rhode Islanders get vaccinated. Courtney. Paula Zapala says as soon as COVID-19 became a pandemic, she knew she had to do something. So she jumped at the chance to travel the country, giving vaccinations, eventually landing here. Demand for traveling nurses has increased since 2020, and Michigan native Paula Zapala, who is currently working in Rhode Island, is one of them. I started when COVID was first identified. Sapala became a nurse four decades ago, but since that time also became a stay at home mom and ventured into other jobs, but says she felt a call to action to return. Currently, her agency sends her out to vaccinate Rhode Islanders at different sites. She wanted to serve humanity. She says her purpose has also brought her to Denver, Michigan and New Hampshire, but she says in her travels, New Englanders seem to have the best attitudes she's seen toward vaccinations versus other states. Oh, there were days, there were 10 hour days at facilities and you might have 10 clients and it was a free vaccine. But she says after meeting the people here and exploring the state while vaccinating, she is looking to stop traveling and make the ocean state her home. Local hospital groups here say they also use traveling nurses. Care New England says they currently have 50 at Kent Hospital and 19 at Women and Infants. Lifespan in a statement says 4% of their RNs are traveling, saying while we would prefer to hire our own nurses, we are utilizing traveling contracted nurses as a temporary measure due to a nationwide staffing shortage of health care workers. Now, as of today, the state says 75.2% of eligible Rhode Islanders are at least partially vaccinated. I'm Courtney Carter, 12 News.